but there is also a bright future. Ordinary people are really making practical change on a daily basis. Now the African Union came up with a plan, they call it the Africa we want to say, the Agenda 2063. The Africa we want to see in the coming 50 years. There is a very nice plan of action, proper consultation being held among the youth, women, civil society, activists, scholars, the politicians, the head of states. Now there is collective agreement how really to bring Africa in the right track, where it needs to be. In that effort, the traditional leaders are playing critical role. We have a panel of wise within the African Union where many of the traditional leaders are also included in that. So it's really happening, and that gives us hope. Here also I would like to share with you the initiative that was taken by His Royal Highness Prince Hermes Haile Selassie years back along with some traditional leaders and kings in Africa. The idea was to establish the Africa Council of Traditional Leaders to preserve the culture, especially for the young generation, for them to be aware, like what he's doing now through the Council of Ethiopia. The legacy of the Emperor Haile Selassie and the legacy of Nkrumah and the legacy of many other great leaders of Africa and the traditional leaders also to be taught for the young generation. So there is that initiative already undergoing to form African Council of Traditional Leaders. So I'm happy to share that good news with you. Give thanks. Thank you.